Drip filter coffee is just that, or more so, filtered coffee. In its simplest form, it is water in contact with ground coffee that is filtered through a medium such as paper, cloth, or perforated metal. The filter, in most cases, restricts the larger particles of the coffee, allowing the coffee solubles in the water to become your final beverage. Drip filter coffee is different to espresso because there's no pressure applied to the coffee grounds. So drip filter coffee generally has a longer brew time than an espresso shot. What I love about drip filter coffee is the lo-fi nature of it. You don't require fancy equipment. It can be relatively low cost. It's approachable and accessible for everyone. It's the gateway into drinking coffee for everyone from all cultures. In this video, I'm going to take you through a few different drip filter coffee styles that I often use. Remember, the tool that we are using is just that, a tool. The final result is only going to be as good as the ingredients we put in. Here, we have the luxury of specially grade coffee and filtered water. In Western society, the French press or plunger or cafetiere is found in many households because of its ease of use and for its ability to make multiple cups of coffee in a short time. The type of brew method is what I would call a full immersion style, where the water and the coffee is in contact for a set amount of time before it's filtered. Other examples of full immersion brewing would be the inverted AeroPress method and the Clever Brewer. Pour over is another popular drip filter coffee style and one that can be simple or a deep dive. The beauty of pour over styles brewers is that it's very accessible and easy to use. You can just stick a filter into a filter holder, put a scoop of ground coffee into it, pour a random amount of hot water over it and you have a drink. Or you can make the process as complex as you like, controlling the end result using a range of variables. The roast level, the grind size, the shape of the basket, the brewing time and the water temperature. You can see our dialing in tutorial for more. Filters come in various shapes and forms, ranging from V-shaped conical filters to wave to flat bottom and everything in between. Then there are the different filtering mediums, the most common being paper, but also cloth, perforated metal and other manufactured composites. Some of the more common brands are Hario, Melita, Chemex, Kalita, Filtropa, just to name a few. Whatever the filtering medium, the fundamental style doesn't change. It's hot water being poured over ground coffee sitting in a filtering medium. The cold brew method, as the name suggests, is about using cold water to brew. A common one with the full immersion style is manufactured by a company called Toddy. As you can see, it's basically a bucket with a paper filter that you put ground coffee into. So that you add room temperature or cold water and let it steep for a really long time, like six hours plus. Cold drip style is different again. Here, a bed of coffee is sitting on top of a filter and cold water is applied to it at a really, really slow rate, one drop at a time. So it's not really immersed in the water the whole time, but it's been drip fed water over a longer period of time. And what you get from that is generally a different mouthfeel and body to say a typical cold brew method. Some people also like to do a hot pour over brewed coffee, poured over ice to chill the beverage. I'd just add these to the ever growing range of coffee extraction options. And for us at the coffee bar, it's extremely popular during the hotter seasons. It's often the gateway into people drinking hot filter coffee when the temperature drops. For more automation, there are many drip filter coffee machines that produce great coffee, including the Precision Brewer. In fact, we used two of them in the coffee bar simultaneously for a few years until we needed to increase the capacity and switch to a larger batch brewer. The Precision Brewer has preset brewing methods, including the SCA Gold Cup, but my personal go-to is the My Brew option, which allows you to adjust the variables like flow rate, 
bloom time and water temperature. Most of the better automated brewers can work with the variables that are going to be able to produce a tasty cup of coffee. That is the brew ratio, type of basket, the filter shape, steep time and temp. Remember, these are all just brewing instruments. The final cup that you drink is only going to be as good as the quality of the coffee and water you put in.